Hi, if you're watching this video, you're probably wondering what kind of camera gear you need to start a YouTube channel in 2019. You'd be surprised that it's not as complicated as you think. This is a Tascam audio recorder. You can see the levels, I think, if it focuses. My levels. Hi, and welcome to today. So I'm recording it with this lav mic, like this, because I'm going to be looking at you, and I'm going to be looking at the screen. So I'm just going to keep the microphone in front of me while I do it. Here's an interesting thing to note about lav mics. Um, you usually pin them right down here. I have it on a collar of my jacket sometimes, so it's up this far, and it sounds pretty good. But as soon as you turn your head away from whatever you're, from wherever the microphone is, you immediately lose. Do you see how much audio you lose from that? That's ridiculous. So if I was to put it back here, and and talk it like this, blah blah blah, and then as soon as I talk to you guys, where did the audio go? Where did the audio go? Anyway, that's lav mics. Do you need a lav mic to start a YouTube channel in 2019? Nope. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. Uh, I'm going to show you what I use to shoot, and I'm going to kind of talk to you about the methodologies that I use, and maybe you can take something from it and finally start your YouTube channel too. You know you've been putting it off for far too long. The main thing that I think you should do is focus on using whatever you have. I have an old phone here that I use to display art. I have a Galaxy tablet here that I watch movies on while I'm working. I do all my work on a big 40 inch TV set, which is perfectly ideal for what I'm doing. I have a GoPro that I use for just a lot of random things. GoPro is coming on, and it is on. There's me out of the frame, but in the frame. Look at that. I'm going to record with it right now. Recording. Okay, so I probably did an edit there at some point to show you the point of view of this camera. So right now, here is what I'm shooting this on. This is a Canon 70D. It's got terrible lighting. Here, let's wait. I'm just going to move this cardboard. I'm going to show you my whole studio setup here. This Canon set... This Canon 70D, it looks like it's being interrogated in Guantanamo Bay. What did you do with the drug money? Where did you put the drug money? Uh, it's a typical Canon 70D. It's got a cheap Chinese shotgun mic on top, and that's it. On it is a 10 to 18 millimeter uh, Canon STM lens, which I really like, and uh, that's all you need to know. It's a stock camera in every other way. It shoots 1080p. Uh, at 24 frames a second, and that's all I want. Editing 4K is pain in the butt. I use proxies to do it, but I, I'd prefer, I, I don't care. I would like to have nice 4K footage. It really would. You know what, before I get into that, uh, I've got my Canon 70D on this cheap Chinese tripod with this cheap Chinese microphone on top, and it's a good lens and it's a good reliable camera. Uh, I've got this garbage light pointing towards this white hunk of foam right here to give bounce light. I've got this desk lamp I got at Ikea to provide light this way. I've got this uh, lamp back here, and I've also got this floodlight attached to the back of this other chair. This is uh, Vanessa's desk. Right now it's piled with stuff. I'm sorry about that, baby. Um, so that's my setup. I shoot all of my stuff on either this Canon 70D because I like the quality of image that I get out of it, or I use the GoPro because it's super convenient to just pick it up and it's just that easy. So this is just super easy to use. It's got beautiful stabilization. You guys have all seen the videos, right? The stabilization and the, the features, the everyday dad and Gerald Undone and all those guys, and camera conspiracies. You've seen all those videos, so you know everything that this camera can do. There's nothing that I can tell you that you don't already know. If you can't make up your mind, whether you should buy this camera or a Canon 70D like this one or anything else, then I would suggest you're probably just spending too much time thinking about it. So do you need 4K? And do you need all of this fancy stuff? Like, do you really need it all? Let me take, look, watch this. I'm just gonna hold my mic again because I'm looking back and forth here now. Turning on my recording software, record the screen, initializing. So I'm using a Flashback Express player to record this. It's free, so I don't really know. So I'm recording now. Okay, great. So let's take a quick look at Amazon. Yes, I just did a Google search to get to Amazon. I did. Um, so a good camera that you see a lot on all of these YouTube channels that people say is fantastic, and I have no doubt that it is fantastic, is the Canon, or the Canon, damn it. 
The Sony a7 III is a super camera. It's got a full frame sensor. It shoots 120 frames per second slow-mo. The nice big sensor gives you a proper wide angle view with different lenses. You don't have that cropped aspect. You get more light into it because you can use faster lenses. Uh, you'll get nicer bouquet because of that. It's a fantastic camera, apparently super customizable. I've never even touched one but I might like to buy one someday, but I don't really need it right now. And let's see why. Let's just find out why. Sony A7 III. Here's one, well, okay, forget that. Here's one right here. The Sony A7 III full frame mirrorless interchangeable lens camera with a 28 to 70 millimeter lens. Apparently it's an optical lens, which is my favorite type of lens. This camera right here uh, is $2,799, $2,800. $3,000 isn't a lot of money to spend on a professional camera, but it's a lot of money to spend on anything. You know what I mean? Especially if it's a frivolous purchase or a purchase that you don't necessarily need. If you're just getting started out on YouTube or with photography or with video, you do not need a camera like that. You should absolutely just make do with what you have. I happen to have a Canon 70D and I love it. The best thing about this camera is that I am so familiar with this camera that I can pick it up and turn it on and use it without even really thinking about it. It comes second nature, uh, it's very fast to work with, and it's one of my favorite pieces of technology. It allows me to take photographs that I like and they turn out the way I expect them to because the camera thinks like I think, and that's all I need. Would I benefit from a full frame sensor? Maybe. Would I benefit from dual card slots or a bigger screen or, or, or any of the other things? Maybe I would benefit. Maybe you would benefit. Would I benefit to the tune of $3,000 right now? No. No, I would. If I had waited around to start my YouTube channel until I was prepared to buy the Sony a7 III so that the channel will look perfectly good, then I wouldn't be making these videos right now. I'd still be waiting because I've been on the fence about spending that money for a long time. I cannot get past the fact that this does everything that I need it to do. And I have it here right now. Not everybody's gonna be lucky enough to have a nice camera like this. Maybe you don't have anything like that. Maybe you just have your phone. I shoot a lot of video on my phone. Why wouldn't you? Phones shoot quality video these days, very high res and stabilized and all of that stuff. Why wouldn't you shoot video on your phone? If you are waiting to get a really good expensive camera so that you can make your videos look like all those other guys' videos, A, why do you want your videos to look like all those other guys' videos, for one thing? And for another thing, it's not about the quality of the video as much as it is the content of the video. And I've said it before, but the quality of your audio has more to do with whether people are gonna stick around and watch than the quality of the video. I don't have a successful YouTube channel yet, but I think that you need three things to do it. I think you need a good message delivered well. I think you need good quality audio so people will be willing to listen to you and can understand what you're saying. And then lastly, I think you need good quality video and editing and all of that stuff. Because ultimately this video that I'm making here right now is just me sitting in my, in my office being a weirdo. Usually I walk around the backyard, that's not much more compelling either. And I keep thinking, I gotta get out of the house and do more stuff and take this camera places and set up all these fancy shots and, you know, you can just make do. The most important thing is making content. So like I said in my last video, in 2019, try to make it more about action and doing stuff. Do you have a camera right now? If you do, and you have any desire to make a YouTube channel, then do it. Pick up your camera, set up some kind of a system like I've got here with lamps and foam and whatever else you can find to make it look good. And make it as good as you can, and then talk to us about your experience. Maybe you don't even know what your channel's gonna be about yet. It doesn't matter. I don't know what my channel's gonna be about yet either. I just wanna help people and encourage people and motivate people to be more creative and more artistic. And I figured this is a good way to do it. Who just subscribed to me? New subscriber, John A. Newton. Okay, okay, this guy's doing exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you for subscribing to me. If he has a camera of some kind, and he's got some motivation, and he's got an idea, so he's recording video, and he's putting it on the internet. That's fantastic. Good work, John. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Post more videos. And now I'm exporting my screen cap. So I'm gonna cut this video together. I just wanted to kind of make a point about what kind of cameras do you need? You just need whatever camera that you have right now. A Canon 70D you can pick up for probably like six, 700 bucks is a fantastic buy, even in 2019. If you want, I will do a review of this camera specifically from the point of view of YouTube and vlogging in 2019. Is a Canon 70D still a viable choice? I think that it is. If you would like to see that video, let me know in the comments 
down below and I will uh, do it. That's all I gotta say. So if you liked this video, give it one of those thumbs up things. If you didn't like this video, give it one of those thumbs down things. And if you weren't sure about this video, sideways thumb. Thanks for subscribing and I hope you tune in again. There'll be dogs in it next time. And maybe I'll actually get out of the house. That'd be nice.